Hey everyone, this is Sam and welcome to my Monster Hunter Rise Weapons and Combos tutorial. So today I'll be showing you guys the hammer, which is the best stun and knockdown weapon in Monster Hunter Rise. It can get headshots from up close on the ground and from afar via the air. This is literally a headshot hunting weapon and I'll be showing you the best methods to trigger hammer stun combos right on the monster's head. I guarantee by the end of this you're going to dominate with the hammer. So if you would like to see more Monster Hunter Rise weapons tutorials from me, you can click on the card above or the playlist in the link in the description below for every video I have made on this game all year. Also, feel free to add SamFam, my gamertag, to play multiplayer together on Nintendo Switch and make sure to subscribe for more Monster Hunter Rise content. So the goal of the hammer is to consistently hit monsters in the head to stun them because the hammer has huge stun effects. And with the hammer, there's three different methods to do this and it's at three different ranges. So it's versatile and it's extremely efficient. So first one, first method, you want to attack the head from afar and you're going to do it with a triple charge spinning bludgeon. So to do this to begin, you must hold CR and try to get three flashes. Each flash equates to a charge. And as you charge, you can actually move around. So it's high mobility. And as you're moving while you're charging up from a distance, make sure to get your line of sight to line up with the monster's head like I did there. And once it's lined up, you want to continue to hold CR and CR plus X. So hold all three buttons together. And you can see me do just that. And that will trigger this animation. And as you throw out the wire bug, if the wire bug is above the enemy's head, the monster's head, this means you have aimed correctly previously and you got the distance right. So this is going to take some practice. But once you get it all set up, now you can let go of CR to fire yourself into the monster. You can see me arch over the bridge and hit him multiple times and then end the shot right in the head with stun and knock him down and finish him off. So the most important thing about this triple charge spinning bludgeon is you are free to move as you charge up. So make sure you take advantage of this. Like you can see I'm charging up and getting myself in the cover. And also be mindful, you will lose stamina as you charge and also as you hold on to charge. So the longer you hold on to it, the more stamina it's going to cost. So be aware of this because it does add up. So you can see me do it here, I'm charging up the lineup with him and I missed my aim. But it's okay if you miss because if you miss just as I did here, as you're holding all three buttons, also tap B to cancel it out. Once you tap B, you roll away and it's perfectly fine. Now it's still going to cost you that wire bug, but it's still better than launching yourself at nothing. So the spinning bludgeon with perfect line of sight aim and arc distance, once you get it down, it will look just like this. So you can see I got all those elements correct there and it's freaking devastating. Like look at how many hits I'm getting in the head and that finishing hit is extremely powerful. So this was, like I said, this is gonna take some getting used to, but once you get it down, line up, and the wire bug is a really good tell if you're doing it right. So practice it and you're gonna dominate. Now, method number two. We're gonna attack the head from up close on the ground with a double charge, max stun combo. And to do this, this time you're gonna hold CR, but you're only gonna need two flashes, so two charges. So you can see me do that right here, that's two charges. And I'm gonna let go of CR while pushing my left stick at the target's head to trigger a double charge upswing like you're gonna see here. So same line of sight concept, but this time from very close. And there's that upswing animation. And once that finishes, make sure you go A, then X, then X. You're gonna do triple stun. So every hit coming out of that double charge upswing, the A, the X, and the X, all of these are stunning hits. So this is the top stun combo in Monster Hunter Rise. So make sure you get this down because look at that, I knock him down and I knock him down again. So it's quite powerful and it's right in the thick of things, right in the enemy's face. So it's hard to miss if you line it up correctly. So give that a try. And method number three, we also can attack the head from medium range with a triple charge spinning attack. So you can hold CR to get free flashes and just get to your spot. So not as close as a double charge upswing, but not as far as a spinning version. When you get to your spot, uh, once again, get your line of sight align with the monster's head and make sure you push the left stick at the target and when you feel like you got it lined up let go of CR to spin and he's just gonna spin away and if you line up just right it's gonna be a headshot every time for like four hits with high stun and to perfectly complement these you know all these methods of you know getting headshots in and stunning the enemy we're gonna do a double wire buck silk band skill versus any monster we down and we're gonna do it with a triple charge impact crater 
So set yourself up by holding CR once again to get your charges, free flashes because we're going to do a triple charge version. As you charge up, make sure you get relatively close to the monster's head like I do here. And uh, once again, get your line of sight lined up. So make sure your line of sight is lined up with the head before you trigger off the move. And once it's set up, let go and just let the animation play out and it's going to be a devastating double hit on the ground. So it's going to hit him once, launch yourself in the air and then boom, and then another one. So it's quite high damage especially if you triple charge it so here you can just see all of these methods i have showed you really have great combo synergy because you can do all of these from different ranges now granted the difficult part is you must first charge up but the great thing about the hammer is you can move around as you charge and you can cancel out of your charges so if you have a little bit of patience just to set yourself up correctly don't rush things before you fire off any of the free moves get yourself lined up correctly, and then do them, you'll be a devastating player. Now the skill gap lies in your ability to get your line of sight correctly, because with the spinning bludgeon, the uh, double charge upswing, and also the spinning attack, all of them are most effective if you end up hitting the head with them. And to do that, you must first get your line of sight correct before you trigger off the move, right? Because all of these moves are, you're charging, and then you're gonna fire yourself away when you get the aiming right. Get the aiming down, but once that happens, you can see they flow very nicely into each other. And you can even just spam spinning bludgeon like I do here. You can just get in, get dirty, get out, and just repeat and do it all over again. And if you knock him down, then you can give him a double crater because that stuff really hurts. Like, for two silk band skills to be able to do over triple charges at least close to 200 damage, it's not bad at all. And you get one silk band skill back very quickly so you can get out of the way. So in terms of tier and weaknesses, I would consider this an A tier weapon. The weakness is that uh, with the hammer, you actually can't take off monsters parts. So no matter how many times you hit the tail, or the head, you don't want to hit the tail, but I'm just saying, if you're hitting the tail or whatever, it's not going to break the tail off. So that's out of the question. But that's why we chase the head hits, right? And the other thing with it is uh, you need good aim. If you don't aim for the head well, it's not going to be as effective because you're chasing for head stuns. But in a multiplayer setting online, like at least what from what I've experienced, the hammer is freaking devastating because I don't some weapons they knock over your teammates and get in the way kinda. The hammer doesn't, and I'm just stunning the monster a lot, so I knock him down a lot, and because you have like three other teammates with you. If you knock down the monsters a lot, everybody else is gonna go to work. So a hammer is a great addition to a multiplayer team. You don't need two of them, but having one guy that knows how to use a hammer or a girl, it's gonna make a huge difference. So uh, as always, thanks for coming by. If you wanna see other weapon tutorials, just click on the card above or the link in the description below. And I look forward to speak to you guys again very soon.